Nebbiolo, the grape used to make Barola wines, the wine of kings and the king of wines, at least according to the northern Italian area of Piedmont. These grapes come from Amador County in California. I'm Charles Fagenbaum. Join me on our quest to turn these Nebbiolo grapes into the perfect wine for your wine cellar. Let's follow these grapes as they go from grape to barrel to bottle. We've got about two tons of Nebbiolo grapes with us today. We're going to put them into my trusty crusher, crush them up, take some samples, measure the chemistry to figure out how they need to begin fermenting, and then get the yeast going. Done. where we keep our grape press. Time to scoop them out of the big blue drum, pour them into the press, which will separate the skins from the finished fermenting wine, and we're going to collect up the finished fermenting wine in our bucket. Not too many skins left in here. We managed to get all of the floating skins out first. So now we've got mostly wine with a little bit of skin. We're just going to have to pay attention to how quickly our collecting buckets fill. One, two, three, okay. and then we'll put down right in there. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. And you can see the press does such a great job that my hand comes out dry from the inside. The last time we looked at our Nebbiolo, it was coming off of our grape press. At that time, there was a lot of pieces of grape pulp, lots of yeast still floating in the wine, looked quite murky. What we've done over the past six months is transfer our racket on many occasions to help get the wine off of the solids that invariably sink down to the bottom of the container that they're in. Over that time as well, a second fermentation was taking care of softening up the acid profile, giving the Nebbiolo a much fuller and richer feel and flavor profile in the mouth. If we look at our Nebbiolo, even though it does look quite clear, it's not completely clear. It will take more than six months to completely clarify naturally. What I want to do over the next couple of months is give the Nebbiolo the beautiful flavor and character that's achieved by contact with oak. There are two ways of doing that. The first is to put wine in a barrel. The second, which is something many wineries do, is to use oak chips. And here are a series of different types of oak chips. You can see that they have different colors and different sizes. They also have different flavor profiles. So depending on the flavors that the winemaker wants to incorporate in the oak, the winemaker will choose a combination of different types of oak chips to use for that purpose. I, however, love the flavor profile of my barrel and want to make sure that we put our Nebbiolo into the barrel for a good three or four months. There are a couple of things that a barrel does which oak chips don't. The first is concentration of flavors. In this barrel, which is about 50 liters, I'm going to lose about a liter of wine per month to very slow evaporation through the staves of the barrel. That evaporation helps concentrate the flavors a little bit more, making the flavor profile a little bit richer. A second thing a barrel does is it allows for micro-oxidation. That's a fancy word for letting very little oxygen very slowly come in contact with the wine. And that's very beneficial for the flavor profile as it develops inside a barrel. I'm going to turn the motor on now and transfer the wine from our demijohn into our barrel. The barrel is about 50 liters. The demijohn holds 54, so I'm going to use those last four liters to be topping up the barrel as it evaporates over time. Push the white button and stop it now. Well, it's been about a year since we got our Nebbiolo. We've seen it get crushed, fermented, pressed, rested, transferred into the barrel, and now it's time to get it out from our barrel into a carboy and then into bottles.
it smells fantastic. I can hardly wait to get some into a glass. Right. The moment of truth. Here comes our Nebbiolo. Let's get four bottles filled at a time. The quicker we get them filled, the quicker we can get them home and start enjoying them. See what our handy work is all about. The best part, of course, about making wine is having a great opportunity to share it with your friends. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Done.